This is how it played out once they laid Jesus in that tomb. Very early Sunday morning, the women made their way down to Jesus' tomb carrying spices they had prepared. Arriving at the tomb, they discovered that the huge stone covering the entrance had been rolled aside, so they went in to look. But the tomb was empty. The body of Jesus was gone. They stood there, stunned and perplexed. Suddenly, two men in dazzling white robes, shining like lightning, appeared above them. Terrified, the women fell to the ground on their faces. The men in white said to them, Why would you look for the living one in a tomb? He is not here, for he has risen. Have you forgotten what he said to you while he was still in Galilee? The Son of Man is destined to be handed over to sinful men to be nailed to a cross, and on the third day he will rise again? All at once, they remembered his words. Leaving the tomb, they went to break the news to the eleven and to all the others of what they had seen and heard. When the disciples heard the testimony of the woman, it made no sense, and they were unable to believe what they heard. But Peter jumped up and ran the entire distance to the tomb mm -hmm. to see for himself. Stooping down, he looked inside and discovered it was empty. There was only the linen sheet lying there. Staggered by this, he walked away, wondering what it all meant. Startled and terrified, the disciples were convinced they'd seen a ghost. But standing among them, he said, Be at peace. I am the living God. Don't be afraid. Why would you be so frightened? Don't let doubt or fear into your hearts, for I am. Come and gaze upon my pierced hands and feet. See for yourselves, it is I standing here alive. Touch me and know my wounds are real. See that I have a body of flesh and bone. Later that Sunday, while they were still discussing all of this, Jesus suddenly manifested right in front of their eyes. He showed them his pierced hands and feet and let them touch his wounds. The disciples were ecstatic, yet dumbfounded, unable to fully comprehend it. He supernaturally unlocked their understanding to receive the revelation of the scriptures. He said to them, Everything that has happened fulfills what was prophesied of me. Christ, the Messiah, was destined to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Now you must go into all the nations and preach repentance and the forgiveness of sins so that they will turn to me. For you are my witnesses, and you've seen for yourselves all that has transpired. And I will send the fulfillment of the Father's promise to you. So stay here in the city until the mighty power of heaven falls upon you and wraps around you.